Okay. Taylor Lisecki here. Taylor, talk about your guys' preparation for Baylor and what you guys are focusing on. Uh, just trying to y'all looks down what they did last year a little bit and um, in some of the games where uh, the other team had some formations that we have and some, some of the same things to see what they did as far as their uh, dog looks, blitz looks, coverages and stuff. So just getting used to um, their tendencies and, and how we're going to block them. So uh, we've just been working for the past a little over three weeks now uh, through fall camp and then now getting more into uh, just strictly uh, Baylor stuff, just kind of preparing for them. What can you guys, what can you guys learn from the last time you guys played them? Um, you know, it's different players, and I think they were a little different, a little different scheme. Um, you know, we came in last year or two years ago expecting to run a lot of three down stuff, and they ended up coming out a lot of four down stuff. Um, they seem to run a lot of four down now, but um, you know, you can kind of just—it's it, hard because, like I said, there's different players, so you, you can learn a little bit from some of the things they showed you in different situations from two years ago. But honestly, you just have to look at the stuff they did last year against a lot of teams they played. And then talk about how important it is to start this year off well um, with a good performance against Baylor. That's essential to the season. Um, just a confidence thing, and then also uh, just the record, right? Obviously, if we if we come out, um, get the win there, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna boost our confidence going into every other game. Because uh, we come back play North Texas at at their place, which will be a tough game, and and, and then A and M and TCU. So, you know, we have one of the tougher out of conference uh, schedules uh, of a lot, you know, a lot of teams in the NCAA. So. Um, you know, that can be a good thing. It can be kind of a bad thing if you come out of it um, not performing like you want to. But I think it's going to be a big confidence boost for when we go into conference play, too. Um, if we're going to you know, play well against these teams, then it's just going to carry over into uh, you know, the games later on in the season. So I think it's essential to come out and play well against Baylor. And talk about the play of Neil Bertram so far this, this camp. He's done well. He's done well. Um, he's, he's matured um, just from last year, from what I've seen. Uh, you know, when he got thrown in kind of at the, the South Florida game and, and did well. Um, and then he had some, some tough times last year too. I mean, um, but I, I, he's come back and he's matured, and, and I think he's ready to go. So, and talk about your group as an offensive line as a whole. How do you guys feel? I feel good. Um, we got our, we got a group of guys that, that we're going to roll with. Um, we're working with the ones now. So we were experimenting with some stuff earlier on in fall camp, uh, guys in different positions. But uh, I think now we got our our uh, our front five that's going to be solid. Um, so it's been good to, to kind of work with them every day now for the past, you know, a couple of days. Just the, the guys I know are going to be there. So just getting the little things down, like passing off stunts and, and just trusting one another. So uh, I think we have a good group. We have some guys that are returning, um, you know, returning Chauncey and Chris. And then we're going to have some uh, new guys in the middle. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how they how they uh, step up and adjust to, um, you know, game speed from practice. But so far in practice, it's been, it's been good overall. I mean, uh, I think that we're – Pretty far along now for you know having two guys in, you know next to me in the middle. So and talk about finally the crowd noise at Baylor. How you guys deal with that? Um, I mean, we played A and M last year and it wasn't that big of a deal um, for me at least. And, and and we do stuff. I mean, you know we got we got sound counts and stuff. So it's not it's not a huge deal. Um, you know you kind of when you're in the game, uh, you kind of zone in a little bit. You you, you, you kind of think about the crowd and everything for. You know, when you first run out, maybe the first play, but after that, it's it's like practice. You zone in. It's you versus versus their, you know, front and their defense. So you don't really you don't really worry about the crowd or the noise or distractions. And it might be a little hard to hear. I'm not I'm not sure. No, no one's playing the stadium yet, so you know, different stadiums have different have different acoustics and and sound difference. So it could be really loud. It could be could be uh, you know quieter than we expect. Even we don't know until we get there. But I think we're fully prepared for any kind of crowd noise or anything we see.